I think that I'm a privileged man. I live in... <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> I live in an area of, of great beauty. And uh, pretty obvious it is tonight, isn't it, as we look around us. Absolutely marvellous. Whether the sun is shining or the rain falling or the wind blowing, there is still great beauty around us. This area is my home. Not all of us uh, like to stay at home, but I've been away. I didn't like it. So I come back again. And it's uh, a great privilege to be here and to work here and to live here in a place where I feel I belong. I'm privileged to be a Methodist minister, to work with people, which is always a great privilege in any case, but to work with them in, in the joys and of, of their lives, and in baptisms and, and weddings, ceremonies and thanksgivings, but also in the harder moments of their lives, bereavement and, and loss. Great privilege to be involved in that way. I have a special privilege to be involved, along with my friend Gordon here, uh, in a very small way, uh, as chaplain to the Arnalai Penley branch. This bunch here are very special people. They mightn't think so, at least no more special than, than we all think they are, but they're, uh, and all the rest of the folks, a few, a few others dotted around the place. Very special people in, indeed. And if I was to preach a sermon that lasted from now until Christmas, it's all right, I'm not going to. <laughs> but if I was, I couldn't say anything more about faith and love than these people do every time one of these boats go out. The RNLI, the crews and the volunteers and the workers, all of the people involved in the RNLI who keep the RNLI show on the road or the work afloat proclaim a very powerful message. And that message is that we are each other's brothers, our sisters, our brothers and sisters keepers. That we have and accept a responsibility for each other. The message that the RNLI proclaims is that each and every human life is valued. There is no judgment made of the economic worth of the person in need before the lifeboat puts to sea, nor of their age or their race or their religion. And where we hear messages like that, just maybe we can hear the voice of God. So thank you to everyone involved in the Penley branch, to you folk here, my friends over there. Thank you to everybody involved in this, from someone whose job it is to preach about faith and love, for putting that faith and that love into action and showing me and all of us the face of God in the world. Thank you all. And now there are some gentlemen clothed in yellow, hiding just behind there. The Cape Singers, thank you for being here with us tonight, gentlemen, and you're going to sing, I believe, Safe in the Arms. 